At number 5, we got Max Dean versus former teammate Michael Beard. This crazy match had both of these guys trading takedowns up until the last minute of the match where Beard would get two in a row to ice the match. With the opening takedown, and you know he is inspired and motivated to get the win. Michael Beard, here's the look at the, was a double leg shot, he finishes on that right leg. Rival, you know, Beard wrestled in some open tournaments last year, now Dean's in on a single. And he will finish for it, certainly with the advantage on the mat. And I've said that since. Oh, what a shot he by Beard! Great leg attack for a big 197 pounder. And I noticed that. Well, you season. know, if, oh, oh, here's a shot by Dean. That outside single. Beard quickly to the ankle to Beard try on to the ankle, though, He's got to get some height. Two points. Oh, good go behind. That was beautiful. Two points. Cuts across to a double. He's got to work up here. Nine to seven. Shot from nice Dean. shot. Counter Beard. Oh, another takedown. At number four is when Colton Schultz, the number one ranked wrestler from ASU, was upset by Jordan Nevels in a crazy bout. But there wasn't a lot of action other than some scrambling. But near the end of the second period, Schultz got put on his back and then tried to get a takedown at the end, but was unable to do so against the eighth ranked AJ Nevels. Number three is a bout that happened at the NWCA All-Star Classic by Flow Wrestling, where number one Cole Matthews was knocked off by UNC's Andrew Alirez. There wasn't much action in the first, but Alirez was able to get a reversal in the second right away. After Matthews' escape, they eventually went into overtime after a quick scramble at the end of the third. In overtime though, Alirez was able to get in deep and finish his shot. At number two was when unranked freshman Panero Johnson was able to take out number two wrestler Austin Gomez. He was able to do this with two good time reattacks for takedowns and then a pancake at the end of the match to beat Austin Gomez. Finally, it's possibly the biggest NCAA wrestling upset of the season, where number three Austin Gomez knocked off number one Yanni Dak Mahas. So in the first period, there wasn't much action except for this short but late scramble at the end of the first. Then in the second period is really when Austin Gomez broke the match open with a signature body lock from a wizard position to score five points on Yanni. After Yanni got an escape, Gomez was able to score off a really well timed re attack. So, yeah, those are our list of the five biggest and silver wrestling upsets of the season so far. If there's any I missed, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, leave a like and subscribe for more wrestling content like this. Peace.